Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here with episode 2 of the One Spot Photo Mode Challenge where we utilize one location in a game and we try to get as many cool shots as we can utilizing the photo mode and all the various options that we are given. In this second episode, we will be focusing, of course, on Horizon Zero Dawn. And as you can see, we're taking ourselves all the way to the left side of the map, just outside of Kestrel's Perch. And we're going to be messing around with my second favorite creature in the game, which is the Snap Maw. So starting things off, I was pretty much doing a back and forth where we go hero, villain, hero, villain, for the most part, at least. And I really like this location because it allowed me to mess around with the ravine and having all this open space to utilize the sun and the moon whichever i chose to go with and i really like how things played out like this very first picture as you can see it's very simple it's just aloy pointing and this entire series or you know i should say this entire episode there is no movement so all of these pictures the characters are both in the exact same location i'm just moving the camera around and getting a lot of different options and as you can see here once again i was messing around with filters messing around with the time of day that was my favorite thing i would say with this specific location especially being down in the basin that's a little bit of the city there in the background and i really enjoyed the picture that i got with that because i just like having that little bit of extra mountainous look even though it was technically the city it still kind of looks like a mountain especially blurred out and then as you can see i finally decided to transition to utilizing the moon i also went with um, a tilted view for the actual picture which is something i'm not normally used to doing so for me this was a very minute step outside of the norm but for me it was different i typically like messing around with the sun i always have straight on shots so that was a little bit different for me and you'll see with this very next shot i pretty much went back to basics for myself i decided to go portrait however and we went back to the sun and originally i wanted to go with this shot where it was focusing on just her hands and you know the very tip of the arrow and i just wasn't feeling it as much so I kind of pulled things back and I really just love the little bit of the ripples in the water with her standing there and that's just kind of why I stuck with that one I, I just really love the ripples in the water and that was pretty much just how I decided to stick with it and I kind of carried that into this very final shot you'll see here for the day even though I don't really utilize the ripples or anything like that it was something else where I was like oh I like the reflections in the water but I wanted to bring things down a bit I had to kind of work around not getting too much of the city in the background like I had that little bit of the bridge there I'm still kind of meh about that. I kind of wish I kind of took that out just a little bit. But all in all, those are the pictures that I picked up for this episode. Thanks for checking it out. Of course, as you guys are seeing, these are just some old shots that I had as I kind of ramble on here in the end. But I would love to get any feedback that you guys have. This is, of course, only episode two. Episode one focused on Ghost of Tsushima. So definitely check that out if you're interested. Like I said, I would love any feedback that you guys have because I'm still getting into a groove of things, trying to figure out how long I spend talking about each picture and things like that. And either focusing a lot on each picture or just kind of giving a vague generalization of how I felt during that as the you know episode continues so still getting into a groove of things so I hope you guys are enjoying these rough couple episodes it's going to be that way for a minute I would assume um but I would love to get any feedback of course if you guys have any specific games you guys would like to see until that point it'll probably just be me sticking with the games that I already have I have quite a few that have photo mode so definitely look forward to a variety of things I am also doing cinematic showcase videos so you guys can definitely check those out the latest one that I just uploaded was actually for control and it was based around the hotline and I utilize the audio of the actual recording within the game. So definitely check that out if you guys are interested. And like I said, if you guys have any ideas or anything that I should be doing to change this or what you would like to see or how you feel it should flow, definitely let me know. And of course, I would love to see your accounts down below. If you guys do video game photography, I would love to see it. So definitely put it down in the comment section below so I can check it out. Other people can check it out as well. And of course, thanks for watching.